Hey guys, it's Jim. You recognize this handsome, talented cat. That is Jason, our technical director for our Broadway series. And here we are, dude. It is uh, day one of Once, and we are uh, here in the warehouse. You guys have been started your day one a while ago as far as set building. So when did you guys start the set building for Once? Uh, we started construction for Once about a week before Cabaret opened. Wow. So. Uh, and you started January, construction February. then, but you were working with Jeff, the set designer, probably long before then. Right? Yeah, our first conversation about once was August or September. And the very talented Jeffrey, also uh, a Jeff Award winner and has designed other shows for us here. So really the main thrust of this entire show uh, revolves around an inside of a bar, right? Yeah, we're setting it inside of a bar. The actual show takes place in you know, a dozen different locations, but ours is, is completely kind of uh, the generic setting is within a, a pub, yeah. Cool, and I'm looking around and there are just a ton of pieces all over the place that we're looking at. So I take it this has got to be kind of the main parts of the bar that you're building right here. Yeah, what I'm right next to is uh, the bar, part of the bar back. So if you imagine there's actually a, 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 a tap tower right here and then liquor shelves for the next 15 feet above this unit. Cool, and I see star, uh, stairs in the background. So uh, two stories set? Yes. And uh, what takes place above more, I assume, then there's gotta be scenes kind of overlooking. There's a, yeah, there's a couple scenes and, and uh, some tricks uh, up above. Yeah, we've always got some kind of tricks and you guys have some special yeah. things going on with it. Now, I will say one unique thing about this uh, set is the planning process also started a long time ago because this is truly going to be a working bar, correct? Yeah, so you, you can come on stage, you can buy a harp or a Jameson uh, right from bartenders during uh, pre-show and then in intermission as well. So some unique challenges there, you know, dealing with front of house and, and, and uh, all you find marketing people and figure out the best way to, uh, uh, the, the best, and safest way to get patrons on stage and a unique experience. Yep, and I will say, uh, we'll give you all the details as we get closer to that, but it's gonna be super cool. I mean, literally, you'll have keggers of uh, harp and we'll pour from there, we'll have the Jameson flowing. So when you're working on something like this, uh, we open up on the 25th of April, correct? Yes. Roughly, so when, uh, when do you guys start loading all this stuff in? How far, as we're looking around right now of some of the unfinished stuff, how far away from you guys are completing this and then getting it ready to roll in? When's your deadline for all that? We're about two weeks out right now. We're gonna start installing right after Shen Yun. Uh, so I think that's done April 8th. We're gonna come in right on their, the, their tail end. So they're out of there around 11.30 at night. Then we'll go straight through for the next 30 hours or so to kick everything off with the, hopefully having everything installed for Jay Leno to perform in front of it. April 12th, 13th, yeah, I forgot whatever about that. that Jay's is. going to be playing on the set as well. Yeah. So when you guys are did, working on a bar and you're working with Jeff, he gives you the drawings. You guys ever run into situations where Jeff goes, look, we want to do this, this, and this. And then realistically, when you've got to implement what he's trying to do, you just go, look, that's not going to work. We need to find a happy compromise. Yeah, we're always going back and forth with budget. Uh, you know, a lot of times uh, it's something simple that we can just change a simple material and, and save a lot of money. Um, for this one, there was a very specific uh, textured plexiglass that we were originally looking at for the set, and it was going to be pretty outrageous, and we switched actually to shower doors. And once we started getting shower doors, we were able to save about $8,000 immediately. Uh, so, in other words, uh, you and uh, your family are showering without shower doors until yeah. the end of uh, the in once, and then you get them back again. That's exactly it. The entire shop staff gave it up. There are no shower doors till June 3rd. <laughs> nice. You know? Now, I will say, as we were walking through the shop, you know, obviously you guys do a lot of the welding and stuff yourself in here. There was this big thing that we're going to show off camera right now, and that is... It looks like a giant hair dryer, but what exactly is this thing? Uh, it's a welding fume extractor. They, uh, uh, the the uh, shop guys actually call it Snuffy, uh, for Snuffleupagus. Ah. And uh, it sucks up all the fumes while he's welding, so it's, you can be three feet away from the weld and, and not be inhaling any of the, the noxious fumes. It's just a nice way to keeping up the air quality 
uh, which is it's important to us. We're trying to we try sure. to make everyone as safe as possible, uh, especially when you know you got marketing people just coming through and, <laughs> and they are they're not you guys aren't wearing your respirators on a regular basis. So if we can suck some of the fumes out of the air, we'd like to. We are uh, starting to sell uh, Paramount logoed respirators at the gift shop. Oh, so that's we'll have to buy some for marketing and bring it in. Let me ask you this: When we're talking about a set like this. How many people, when it's all said and done, you're talking about people you know, doing the welding and the painting and finishing and everything goes into it. How many of your crew members actually does it take that nobody ever sees before this thing ever sets foot on a stage? Yeah, so actual construction, I keep my crew pretty small. Uh, it's just me and Kelly in the office. And then there's, uh, on this set, there's gonna be four people uh, doing the carpentry and welding and then two people painting. Um, and then once we get into install, we have a rotating crew of six to 10 that are actually installing the set, light, sound, uh, kind of in different shifts. So at any one time, there's at maximum about 20 people working on, on stage for any eight hour time frame. Got it. So folks, just giving you an idea, like we say, oftentimes you'll get to see the uh, actors on stage or hear the orchestra below. There, there are so many other people that are involved in this kind of process to do all the great stuff that we do at the Paramount, including winning Jeff Awards, thanks to you guys. So look, we're gonna check in more with, uh, with our man and uh, everything we're gonna do with Jason as the time goes on, maybe even take a little time footage of your guys' install when you put this thing together. So uh, more coming from Jason and the Talented Cats here uh, at our technical department building stuff. As always, dude, thank you so much for all your work. I'm sorry, uh, but thank you for giving up your shower doors and uh, everybody here giving up their shower doors. For My the pleasure, it's, it's, it's a little, the least we can do. <laughs> Stay tuned, more coming April 25th once. You're gonna to wanna to see this. It's an amazing production. And uh, most people have never seen it, just the movie. So come to the Paramount. Beautiful music.